from Hollywood, it's the, 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 the Tom Micah Show. Oh, God. And now, and now, here he is, Tom Micah. Thank you for tuning in to the Tom Micah Show. This is where America gets together to talk about the issues you really care about. It's an every kind of radio talk program. We're the radio talk show that is not hosted by a right wing whacker or a convicted felon. No, I am your host. Write down our telephone number. You're going to need it. It's 1 800 5 800 Tom. 1 800 5 800 866. Thank you for tuning in. Thanks for being part of our program. Here we are together again on the radio. All right, Valentine's Day. There's always that one woman in the office, sometimes more than one. You know the one who's surrounded by flowers, gifts, teddy bears, and other stuffed animals? You know the woman I'm talking about. There's always one woman in the office who gets lots and lots of flowers. And you know what I think when I see that woman? There's the office slut. I mean, seriously, why would so many guys be sending flowers to the same woman? Why? It makes absolutely no sense to me. None. (laughs) I mean, come on. The only reason guys send flowers is because they're getting it good in the sack and they're hoping that by sending more flowers that that's going to continue. So when a woman is getting flowers from six or seven sources, I just assume that they're getting uh, boned by six or seven different guys. Or maybe five different guys and two wannabes. These women are usually obnoxious. You know, they want you to see how many people love them. I mean, why are these women telling everybody what their work address is? Because they want the other women in the office who aren't getting any flowers to feel bad. And I'm sure they do, too. I'm sure we have women listening right now, right now, who were sad because they saw what other women were getting at the office. Women are so competitive. So I thought this hour, we might talk a little bit about this. Do you have a woman like that in your office? There's always the one who gets the most stuff on Valentine's Day. Or are you one of the women who is jealous of women who get stuff? And maybe it's not the office slot like I'm talking about. Maybe... Somebody in the office got a nice dozen roses, a box of candy, and a card, or a balloon. How about the women with balloons all around their desk? So maybe there's a woman whose boyfriend or husband was really thinking about her, and you're married to that thoughtless clod, the way you think anyway. I personally think that's it's just a smart way to do business, not to be sending anything like that. But um, one way or the other, I'm sure you've been affected by this. I'd love to hear what you have to say. Tom Likes. 1 800 5800 Tom. 1 800 5800 Why don't you marry? Uh, I already got a best friend. She listens, does what I say, doesn't talk back, doesn't use the restroom. She's a man's best friend, a dog. Oh, and well, she is a bitch. Yeah, she's a bitch. It's the Tom Likes Show. It's the Tom Likas Show. 
at 1 800 5 800 Tom. Hi. Talking about that woman in the office who gets all the balloons and the flowers on Valentine's Day. The woman all the other women in the office hate or are jealous of. And she's doing it to make you upset, too. I think she's the office slut. It's Amy on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hello. Yes. Yeah, oh, I just wanted to know, I'm not really talking about the Valentine thing, but I'm just curious to know whether or not, you're so misogynistic. Is this like your persona, or is it how you really, is it your radio persona? or is it I don't think really I'm are? misogynistic at all. Give me some examples. Well, the, I mean, the, the words that you use and how you, you, like, objectify women, and then you just... You, Darling, I I, the listener... only women, the, well, the only women who worry about women being objectified are women who yeah. nobody would objectify in their dreams, like you. Uh, well, um, no, I'm just so I'm curious. Is this your radio persona? Is it how you really are? What do you like? Think? Haven't you ever sent anybody flowers? Or like, and for what reason did you send the flowers? Oh, I was pretty damn stupid, but I did it. Okay, but why? And by the way, not sending flowers makes you a misogynist. No, 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 no. I'm oh, not well, you're all over the road here. You haven't no, given me an example. <laughs> you have not given. You have not given me an example of misogyny yet. I'm waiting. Oh no, I have too. The, the, the words that you use to describe what words? How you, um, what your words? To what words? What words? How you encourage women to? I mean, your male listeners or whoever to use women just like or you know just for the sex or whatever. You mean like a human toilet? Oh, absolutely. <laughs> a human toilet? <laughs> yeah. What do you mean or by sperm that? or a sperm depository? Yes. Oh, I see. Okay. <laughs> no, so is that your persona, or is that how you really are? I, I, what would make you think I have a persona? A radio persona, how you are. I mean, you know, because you're in radio. And everybody knows that people who are in radio aren't as attractive as people who are on television. You couldn't make it onto the... I, I'm the first one to tell you that. What? I'm the first one to tell you that. What does that have to do? That's how you make your argument? You're going to try to attack the way you think I probably look? That's the no. all, That's all you've got? No, that's not. No, I'm not. That's a that pretty weak. That you know what? That is a pretty weak argument. You have no <laughs> specifics, and now you're you. You don't even know me. You've never seen me in person, and now well, you're going you to, on the radio. Now you're going to try to speculate about what I look like and attack my appearance because you have no argument. Uh -huh, but <laughs> okay, well there you go. I disagree with you, though. About what? But you haven't answered my question. That I don't have. Uh, no, 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 no. You haven't answered my question. I, okay, I want to know what I have done in this program that is misogynistic. I just said you use words like slut, and then you encourage your male listeners to. What is wrong with the word slut? Some people are sluts. Depository. Some people what? are sluts. Okay, but what is there a male term for men who are who are as, uh, sexually promiscuous? As yeah, male? it's called a man. Okay. Yeah, well, that's a double standard. No, no, it's not a double standard. A it's not a double standard. Calling a yes, man a slut, is. calling it a is. man a slut is redundant. Oh, okay. But then it's also, slut isn't a word you would use as, like, you. Would, that's more uh, referred to as a bad word than just the word man. No, I actually, I, I, when I meet a woman, I hope she's a slut. Okay. You're disgusting. You're just horrid. But I Why would I want to meet a woman who's not a slut? I want to meet a woman who would even have sex with me. Uh, <laughs> who would, are you married? No. What? You can't hear me? Oh, no, now I can. You're not married? I am not married. Oh, have you ever been married? Of course. Was she a slut? Uh, put it this way. Uh, when they met me, uh, frequently they were. Okay. Well, that's just, I mean, it's like you can't form a meaningful relationship with somebody without having to... Uh, why, what do I need a relationship for? I don't know. I mean, just because that's what people do. Well, you do everything just because other people do them? No, but it's the nature of humans. <laughs> no, well, guess what? Uh, a lot of humans do stupid things that are that's not true. to their own benefit. And uh, being in a committed relationship uh, uh -huh. is a big mistake for, for men. It's a big mistake. Okay. Uh, well, okay, I'll give you that. Anyway, you have an well, That's very white of you. What? Is that your radio persona? The misogyny? What do you mean my radio? I don't know what you're talking about, my radio persona. <laughs> 
You don't know. <laughs> you're so full of it. You don't. You're acting this way every day. Like when you're not on the radio, you talk this way to just your people who know me. Oh no, I talk a lot worse. The FCC would not allow me to say what I say off the air. Oh, okay. Well, that's good. At least you're honest. Okay, that's all I wanted to say. I'm sure I need to go. But happy Valentine's Day, anyway. Did you get some? By, by the way, by the way, you you'd what? love to be objectified. <laughs> I will. Oh yeah. Oh, how do you know? Because women who complain about the other women who are being objectified are just jealous. Oh, okay. No, I'm not jealous. That's not me. Yeah. I'm sorry. I'm like, no, I you wish, jealous, you anymore. wish I would introduce my open palm to your buttocks. <laughs> no. You're gross. Okay. Anyway, talk to you later. Bye-bye. And you think that's misogynistic? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Before you go, uh, Veronica, what did you want to say here to Amy? I had a couple, well, I had one main thing to say, but one note just to say first. First of all, you sound fat, which is probably why you're angry. Second of <laughs> I'm all, not angry. Yeah. Second of all, for you to say that he's a misogynist to come on the air and to advise men to use women, you know, uh -huh. for sex uh -huh. or whatever, yeah. how, how is that any different than all the women that go out there and use men for their money? And well, things, and to buy them things, and, you know, pay for their rent and just use them. It's probably not any different. It's not any different at all. So you need right. to shut up. Okay. <laughs> That's irrelevant, though. So is she a misogynist, too? No, I, I don't think so. She, I, I pretty much think that this woman here is just a feminist because she can't get any. That's very sad. <laughs> okay, you're listening to Well, it's always pretty much the same thing. Women who demonstrate against pornography, you wouldn't want to see naked anyway. Women who demonstrate against abortion can't get laid. Uh -huh. And I think women who complain about the objectification of women are women with mustaches and sideburns <laughs> who can't get a guy to look at them. Okay, no, I don't have a mustache nor sideburns, actually. You, you ever notice that, you know, Claudia Schiffer or uh -huh. uh, Jessica Alba, they're never out there complaining about the objectification of women. They're cashing in on it. No, I know. That's true. That's because you can't right. work the system. That's very sad. That you uh, okay, thanks. I've got to run. Bye-bye. Yeah, she's Bye. sorry she called in now. <laughs> <laughs> 1-800-5-800-TOM is our telephone number. Natasha on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hi. Hi. Okay. Um, I give flowers and candy and bears all the time at work. Does that make me a slut? Uh, no, if you get them from one person and you just one week it's flowers, another week it's candy. No, it doesn't make you a slut. It's the woman who gets constant deliveries during Valentine's Day. I get constant deliveries from, and that doesn't make me stuff because it's like I have I have friends that are guys and I have friends that are females and they both give me stuff and I get I get stuff at work all the time. I mean, why would a guy give you stuff if he wasn't boning you? Huh? Why would a guy give you stuff if he wasn't boning you? Okay, why that isn't okay? That's that's so wrong because just because a guy gives me something that means they're boning me. Well, I, I'm just saying, why would a guy give you stuff if he's not boning you? What a pussy. That does not make him a pussy. That of course just it does. That he finds me attractive and that he wants to give me stuff that I cannot Yeah, but he's a, he's a fool a because he's never going to get what he wants from you. Are you serious? No, because I respect myself and I treat myself like I don't a care lady. what the reason is. The guy's never going to get it. And if he knew he was never going to get it, he'd never send you anything. But that's ridiculous. What, that what's really ridic is ridiculous. What, what is ridiculous about it? That's ridiculous to say that, okay, if a guy gives you something, they need to be boning you. That's the stupidest thing I've ever heard of. Yeah, well, because what, what incentive is there for a guy to give you okay, something of value if, if he's not mind, getting something mind, of value? It's not all about sex. Well, in your mind, but believe me, when a guy sends you stuff, it's because he wants to see you naked. That it's just it's wrong and it's like your show it's like it's really prejudiced and race and racist to like females it's 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 really really wait, wrong. wait females are a race that wait wait females are a race now no I'm just saying it's like it's prejudice for one and then you guys talk about how how like it, it's basically all you do is sit up here and talk about how you're giving advice to men about how um the, how to get women like are how many times have you been divorced. Oh, I'm not giving guys advice on how to get married and stay married. I'm giving them advice on how to get laid, and it works. Wow, it's not all about getting laid, because in the long run, 
sorry to say, but it is for guys. It is for guys. Are you? No, no. Yes, no. yes. Not every, not every man out here is just has a mindset like you. No, that some guys, some guys are priests. Like some guys, some you're, guys out there are genitalia shot off during the war, and some guys are gay, and therefore it's not all about sex with you. It's about sex with other guys. But but guys are all about getting laid. You have a mindset of a child, like seriously. Well, why don't we? I'll tell you what. Give me, knowledge. give me the name of one of the guys who sent you stuff today, and I will call him right in front of you, and I will ask him point blank: Does he want sex with you? Was that his motivation? You don't want the answer to that, do you? No, seriously. I've had guys not come out, and I've been like, "Oh, do you want to have sex with me? Because if you do, let me know right now." And every and the guys that I talked to, you have not tell me anyone no. who sent you anything of I value did, today. No, 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 you I have did, not had that in. conversation with them. The people who sent you stuff today, you have not had that conversation with them. I have no, no, no. I have been with my man for over two years, and he has over had sex with two me twice. years. Wow, he has had sex with me twenty-four twice. plus months. Wow. Sorry to say, but he's only had sex with me twice. And the first time he had sex with me was after knowing me for seven months. He's a fool. And by the he's way, it, he's getting it somewhere else. No, he's not. Why would you see? That's no. Because I that's know. what we do. That's what guys do. Wow. Like, seriously? No. Without like, seriously, women, yes. Without women, without women, men would be nothing. Oh, men please. Men would be nothing. Oh, that, that is so ridiculous. Hey, no, 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 no. That is not ridiculous. Oh, please. I, you wouldn't even be here if it wasn't for a woman because a oh, woman gave birth to you. That was the so last without, time I that women, was the last time I needed women, a woman for anything except boning. Without, without a woman? That was the last time. Women. Watch your mouth. We're on the air. You can't talk like that on the air. I'm just saying. Like, oh, what are you Don't, say, do? it like, woman, Don't say it again. Don't say it again. Don't say it again. Without a woman, you are nothing. Uh, again, you can. Uh, you have any other material? No, seriously. I like, didn't this, think this so. Okay. This is something I've been wanting to call up. and I don't care, but you keep repeating the same thing over and over. Now, instead of allowing you to continue repeating the same thing over and over, I'm going to put you on with other callers, and uh, they're going to uh, uh, take care of the broken record here. Uh, Jason, what did you want to say to Natasha? Uh, this girl... Uh... Uh, she's stupid, honestly, because that's honestly all I got in my mind. If I'm gonna give this, if I'm gonna give a girl something, it's because I want. You know, this is this girl is just completely stupid and oblivious to what guys want out there. You know, it's not about oh I want touchy feelings with you. You know, it's not about you know making a real relationship with you. Because honestly, I'm 19, I'm young. And to the person, I am not gonna get myself wrapped up in a stupid relationship like that. You know, I'm gonna I'm gonna give a girl something because I want taco. You know, he I'll wants the I taco. Respect myself, I respect myself, and I'm not I'm not the type of female that you can just. We, not, not, we don't taco. care if you want to be a nun. We don't give a rat's ass. We're telling we, you what guys want, including any guy who you think not, is your boyfriend. That's not any guy? That's not any guy. You can't say that. You can't say that. Any I just guy did. I want that. Like not any, any I just other did. guy. Any other guy out there is gonna do the same thing. If he does it, just because he's doing it, then like Tom says, he's a pussy. He is straight. He is straight pussy. Okay, topic. so wait, wait, wait. Is a gentleman a pussy? Is a gentleman a pussy? Okay. Yes. What is your, what is your um, concept of a gentleman? A gentleman is anyone who does what she says. No, a gentleman uh, is a, a, a knows how to speak to a woman. A gentleman to, is gonna is gonna do what she tells him to do. A gentleman is gonna have sex when she says so. He's gonna open car doors when she demands it. That's what a gentleman is. Somebody who bows down and obeys. That's not yeah. true. I'm not. I'm that's, not asking him. I'm not asking him. That's what that. it is. He's doing that on his own. That's a gentleman. Because he thinks he's gonna get laid. Pretty much. Pretty much. That's you really gotta get your conscience right about that. Right. You really, you seriously need to get. You need to get a reality check on what a guy really wants from a girl. A gentleman, oh, you, you, 
Is a well, I'm happy life. within my relationship. I'm happy within my relationship. I know he's not cheating on me. Yeah, because you never I, have to get, you never I, have to have I, sex I, with him. No wonder you're so happy. You never have to have sex with him. Travis, what did you want to say to Natasha? I want uh, to, hey, Tom, how you doing? Good. I wanted to say that if he's not having sex with you and still giving gifts to you, he's getting it somewhere else. Okay, the only I'm not reason guys that. give I'm out not, gifts is to get I'm not laid. Saying, I'm not saying that he, he can't have sex with me. I'm not saying that. I'm saying that he's not asking for it all the time. Because he's giving it somewhere else. Why would you? That, that's not. That, you can't tell me that because you don't actually know that. So it's. it's I'm a guy. I know what argument, guys do. This argument, this argument is kind of pointless. Seriously, it is pointless. It's pointless to sit up here and argue with me because I don't really know actually. Because you're a you big mouth actually. bitch who never shuts her trap. I'm not that's arguing. why. We're telling you what is the truth. What guys do. So now I need to shut my trap. Yeah, be a good start. <laughs> wow. And a, ge anyway, and a, a man only acts as a gentleman to get laid. There I'm are no gentlemen out there. I'm it's done all with this conversation. Um, a friend of mine asked, can you take me out, Kobe style? We're not done with this conversation yet. Stephen, what did you want to say here to Natasha? Go ahead, Stephen. Bob, well, how you doing? Good. All right. Uh, I forgot your name, but it doesn't really matter. Uh, I just wanted to give your boyfriend props for being such a good liar. Obviously, if he's not getting it from you for two years, he's obviously going around giving it to chicks that are giving it up to him. I'm not saying he's never gotten it in two years. He's gotten it a couple times, but not uh, all the so time. You're saying, so you're saying he's going around with other women while he's with you? No, no, no. I'm not saying he's not getting it from me. I'm just saying he's not getting it all the time. By the way, if you've already had sex with him, how is not having sex respecting yourself? Because I waited I waited a while to see if he would stick with this relationship or end the relationship because he wasn't getting any. And he he's a fool. With it. He's a fool. Well, he's a gentleman. He's and a gentleman he's getting gentleman. it somewhere else because, believe me, there's a slut right in your zip code who's willing to uh, do all the heavy lifting. Trust me. And she probably is. Okay. Do you know how many women I know? By the way, Natasha, you have no idea. Do you know how many women I know have played your little game? And they actually think they have me wrapped around their little finger. They think I'm waiting for them to say, okay, you'll get some in April, but nothing in May, June, or July. They've played that game with me. And uh, what they don't realize, and I ultimately tell them, I've been getting it from anyone and everyone. So you really think I'm sitting here hanging by my thumbs waiting for your okay? Men just don't do that. You are delusional. Mm, okay, whatever. Okay, whatever. Jennifer, what did you want to say here to Natasha? Uh, well, first of all, I find it hard to believe that with her winning personality, people send her anything anyways. Um, I don't believe her. she gets deliveries all day today. Um, I think she sounds like a moron. And, Tom, you're right. Men and women can't be friends. Her boyfriend's getting it elsewhere. Hmm. Okay. That's it in a, nut that's it in a nutshell. Tom is right. He knows. Okay. I'm, that's, I've been that's, listening to him for I'm years. so happy. I'm so happy, sweetheart, that you sit up here and agree with a man who sits up there and disrespects women constantly on air. You think actually women sit up here? Why would I respect somebody himself? like you? He's, he, 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 he's right. He says men can be stupid, too. I mean, men need his direction because without him, you know, I don't know. I, I disagree with what Tom says, but overall, Tom... You're right. I find you completely entertaining. I enjoy listening to your show. Um, and you're right. Well, I'm, not saying, I'm not saying, I'm not saying, I'm not saying you're, Tom, Tom, I'm not saying that your show is not funny. It is funny. But at the same time, some of the stuff that you say to women about women is, is disrespectful. It really is. Why would any man respect a woman like you? Like me? What's, what's a woman like me? What am I like? Tell me. Oh, you know what? Let's ask Jim that question. Jim, uh, Natasha wants to know what kind of woman she is. Jim? I could even say that in a whole sentence. That's, that's the problem. What you need to do is just listen with your ears and not with your mouth. This show will truly benefit you. Mm -hmm. you, don't, you just I listen. I listen to this show every morning and every afternoon. Okay, so, if, you, if you did that, if you did that, you would understand two things. First of all, this show is to teach guys how to get more pill. Second is to teach you guys what men want. So it's benefiting both genders. All you have to do is stop and listen. That's it. That's as easy as it is. But you can't do that. 
And the next question is, is do you talk this much when you're having sex with your man those two times? No. I'm, I, yeah, I talk a lot. Yeah, I will admit that I'm a very talkative person. That's just me. But, no, when I'm, when I'm getting to know somebody or when, when, when I hang out with people, I'm as quiet as can be. Well, you know what? Sometimes I do talk a lot. Yeah, let I me do. ask you this. But let at me the ask same this. time, what? I'm one of the quietest people you will ever meet when I don't when I don't feel like talking. Like I'm I'm actually like a complete sweetheart. I don't I but I respect myself and I believe in what I believe in. I'm not saying that he he may be cheating on me. He may, but I don't really know and you don't really know. So it's okay, like it's kind of pointless to sit up here and try to discuss please, this please. when nobody really knows. Hold on, hold on. Let me just ask you one question. What do you want? What is important to you? Guys giving you stuff, taking you out, showing you off, all that's really important, correct? No, that's not what's important. What's important is a person's personality and how they treat me and how I feel when I'm around them. If I'm comfortable, uh, do I feel like I, if I have uh, that he respects me enough that I can give myself to him? That's okay. what matters to me. It's not about he giving, he's get him giving me stuff. Okay, presents are nice, yeah. But no, it's more... It's, it's, it's about you making him bark it. like a dog, honey. That's what it's all about. Fair, fair enough, but what's important to guys is that we're getting late. We have something called BUSS, B-U-S-S, built-up sperm syndrome. If we don't get rid of it from you, we'll get it from somewhere else. That's just the way it goes. Hey, Tom, keep up the fight, my brother. Thank you so much for the call. I appreciate it. Tom Likas. 1-800-5800-TOM. 1-800-5800-866. I took your advice staunchly, and I've been dating lots of different girls and banging all kinds of chicks. If you only knew, more ass than a toilet seat. Love that. Oh, jeez. It's the Tom Likas Show. It's the Tom Likas Show from Hollywood. 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. Thank you so much for tuning in, being part of the program. We appreciate it. We're talking about that woman in the office, that obnoxious woman who gets all the flowers, all the balloons, all the candy. Her desk is just rife with stuff. She's the office slut. Alan on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hey, Tom. How you doing? Doing okay. Now, I am a singing telegram guy. In fact, right now I'm wearing my Cupid outfit. No. Yes. I got the diaper and the bow and arrow and the whole thing going. Wow. And I get sent to, to these girls at the offices all the time. And a lot of times it's really nice. It's a husband sending it to the wife or the wife sending it to the husband. But then there's a the time that the girl is, already has several different flowers on her desk from several different guys. And it's kind of funny when I go there. It happened to me today. I went to one and I go and I'm singing the songs. I go, this is from Ralph. And she's like, oh, well, Ralph is just my friend. And meanwhile, <laughs> Ralph is sending flowers and chocolates and, and a singing Cupid to her. <laughs> now, these, they're, women are, yeah. these women are delusional. <laughs> but then, then, the, then there's the other times where it's really nice and really sweet and it's really fun. But it's the, it's the crazy ones like that that really make my day exciting. Well, but... I'll bet. Uh, uh, do you ever get in any trouble, or uh, are you ever privy to people who get in trouble? No. Well, one time this woman sent me to visit her husband, and she found out that her husband was cheating on me, or cheating on her. So she sent me to let the uh, mistress know that she knew. And, she and what, you sang it? Balloons. What's that? Did you have to sing that information? Um, actually, I wrote a special song, and it went something like this. Well, you messed up their life. You took this man. He's got a wife and they got a kid. How could you do what you did? You messed up their life. <laughs> and then I handed her and everybody in the office a copy of the love letter that she had written him and gave her a picture of the happy couple and headed on out of the office. Unbelievable. <laughs> I have fun, and it's every day is a wild and crazy times. I'll bet you do. Wow. Alan, thank you very much for the call. Let's say hi to Julie on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hi. Hi, Tom Likas. Good afternoon. Hi, Julie. Happy, hi. Happy Valentine's Day. All in the same to you, dear. Why, thank you, darling. Um, I'm the girl who's not in the office, but is the girl that received a coffee pot machine today. You received a coffee machine from who? My boyfriend of seven years. 
You know he's never going to marry you. You do know that, right? Yes. <laughs> yes. Well, we've been down that road twice and both times said, no, let's wait. And no, I don't no, no, but I'm telling you, he's together. never, now that he's, now that he's been getting the milk for free for seven years. I know it. There's one cow he's not buying. And I was so nervous. I'm going, I'm going to sound one of like one of those heckling hens that called Tom up whining and complaining. And I really don't, I didn't want to do it, but I wanted to call just because if there's any woman out there that receive a coffee pot or an appliance, it's over. Their time has expired. Like so why, up. so are you going to break up with her now? Yes. You are? Yes. When? And, 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 really? What? When are you going to do it? Well, he's in Texas right now. See, I actually spent money on UPS and built it up all week. Oh, honey, wait till you see. Uh, you're going to love what I got you. <laughs> you didn't think it was the engagement ring, did you? No, but I thought, well, maybe it's, you know, something, you know, pretty quality of something. doesn't have to be expensive, but I didn't think it would be a Mr. Coffee. You know, I mean, he could have, like, kicked it up and made it, like, you know, a cappuccino machine or something if he wanted to take that route, I suppose. <laughs> you know, but it's just not right. It's just... and I, wait, wait, I, Why is it not right? Because I'll tell you why. Because he's in Texas right now because his mother, I don't know, she stubbed her toe last week. So he flew out there to take care of mom, and that's completely understandable. But I know he started the day, bought mom flowers, took her to lunch... And I'm like, wait, I just got a coffee pot. I mean, he didn't have to do anything or send flowers or just call. But I think a coffee pot just says, okay, consolation prize. <laughs> well, what were you hoping to get? Um, okay, good question. You know, I was just hoping for something that would have been sweet, even a card. You know, something, it doesn't have to be expensive, but something thoughtful. Really? You know, I mean, is that, you say really, it's cute the way you say really, but I'm Is that, is that what he does every year? No. Normally he's here and we'll go for a nice dinner. I don't expect fancy jewelry. He's, you know, he has a nice living, you know, he's, it's not like something to something simple, some form of acknowledgement. But a coffee pot, I don't even need one. Does he ever, and I'm not saying he should or he shouldn't, does he ever acknowledge that he loves you or such? Does yeah. He, does he do I that? Mean, he's, yeah, I mean, even though he's in Texas, he must call me five times a day. And I reciprocate and call. And, you know, I, I consider him my best friend. I mean, after seven years, you pretty much know somebody, you know. Well, and, uh, obviously, he didn't know you wouldn't like a coffee pot. So maybe you don't know him as well as you think you do. <laughs> exactly. I'm kind of concerned. I mean, I can understand that as a housewarming gift, you know, or even a wedding gift if it's on their registry, but not for Valentine's Day. I mean, would you go out of your way to get a woman a coffee pot machine for Valentine's Day? I go out of my way to, to keep it on the down low. I, I'm hiding on Valentine's Day. <laughs> okay, I, I, I'm, I'm with you on that. It is a Hallmark Day. I like the Hallmark that that singing telegram man had. That was funny. <laughs> he Maybe was he good. could go send one to him for me. <laughs> <laughs> Let him go percolate. I can't even believe that. Hang on a second, Julie. Robin, what did you want to say here to Julie? Hi, Tom. Happy Valentine's Day. Um, you, I, I came in sort of in the middle, so, um, but I don't think I'm out of line here. You know, have you told him what you wanted, first of all, for Valentine's Day? Any hint? Anything like that? Well, he knows that you can't go wrong with a handbag or shoes if he wants to take that route or just... But have, have you told flowers. him that? Have you ever said that? Well, yeah, he knows I'm a company. Yeah, of course. Trust me. He gets the credit card bills. It's not It's not like I wonder what she wants. He knows. Well, I mean, okay, are you with an a-hole or, you know, well, what's the I didn't the think deal? I was up to this point. I mean, we have our, you know, Robin, we have our moments like anyone else. But we come to the table the next day, apologize. And go, you know, we have like, we have a good, I thought at least. How long have you been dating? Seven years. And you're going to drop him because he got you the wrong gift for Valentine's Day? It's not so much just this. It's just what leads up to this. I mean, what's next? If this is, if this well, that's is what you're stating right now, that's all I've heard, is that you're going to drop him because he got you a Mr. Coffee. 
I well, mean, it's not the lamest the thing I ever just... heard. He should. He he probably got you a Mr. Coffee because you're a bitch. Well, listen, you might put the horn horsey. Okay. I'm really, you know what? I've so been married for take your own years. inventory, Robin. 17 years I've been married. I'm doing just fine, honey. My I'm sure that's why you're calling Tom because you're so pickled. You really put the sea in country, <laughs> don't you? I, I excuse I mean, me. And you got a lot of like, um, I don't know. Talk okay. ways to tell people how they are and they should be because you're so happily You're married. calling up and saying you're going to get rid of your boyfriend because he's no, it wasn't on exactly the first for you. Out of my mouth. Tom asked, are you well, going to Well, I be... said I didn't hear the beginning of the conversation well, then either. You should, and, well, then you should open your big mouth. I'm, I'm opening my big mouth because I'm listening to your dumb ass. That's all. You know, he, he, he's, he's, he's in the mirror, darling, and take your own inventory. Maybe, maybe the coffee pot was a hint that he really doesn't want to be around you. That's all I'm saying. Well, gee, aren't you so insightful? I'm pretty sure I am. Pretty I'm sure. Pretty you sure know what? I have a ring on my finger. I haven't been yeah, I'm pretty sure you're driving a little seven years. Car. You're a size 12, and you're married, and so you eat more. You know what? If you have to say that, that's probably what you are. You know, okay. I'm not going to say that's why I live in the equestrian center. You're the one that called. I have to work three days a week, and yes, even without him, dumbass bitch to live doesn't here have a ring on her finger. Center. You're I'll the dumbass. I don't want to waste my energy talking to a woman who's not a size twelve. I'm a size six, and if you'd like to send a picture of yourself to Tom and show everybody what, yeah, I'm not even going into this. Well, thank you, because I really don't want to waste my time with a woman who puts the sea well, in the Well, then hang country. up. Bye. Okay. I'm on the line first. Uh, you put hang the horn up. horsey. A horsey? You put the yeah, horn You're, you're an horsey. idiot. You know what? You're a complete idiot. I'm an idiot. idiot. You so look good at me luck. Take your own inventory. Good, good luck with the boyfriend, I mean, you know honey. Seven years. Quiet, no and I want to hear the reason why you're calling. I'm going to be quiet now, and I'd like to hear why you're calling. I just called to tell you you're an idiot for breaking up with your boyfriend over I'm a so glad pot. that you can take all this energy and work it up to call other women idiots. Why don't you once again look in the mirror and take your own inventory? And no, you'll I'm realize that you really like did you said, said, I, I got no problem. I'm perfectly happy. I'm sure you are. And I wouldn't and be a bitch if my so husband got me the wrong gift. Yeah, that's I just for tell sure. You, I am so happy that you are happy. That just made my day, that you were so happy. Right on. Good. Robin. Uh, I, Robin. Name, you probably yeah, have to um, Texas. I'm going to let you go, Robin, because i got another one I want to get on here. But All I, right. I have thank fun you. and good luck, Tom. Thank you for the call. Now, Julie, we're not done with you yet. Uh, we also have, let's see here, uh, Amanda on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hey, Tom. I just started listening to you, but I need to chime in on this because... I think Robin is your name? No, no this is Julie. Uh, Julie. Julie. Okay, sorry, Julie. Um, you probably have hinted that you wanted a coffee mate, and so here he thinks he's doing something great for you, and you turn around and you're going to break up with the guy after seven years of being with well, him over okay, a coffee sorry. pot? No, you know what? Um, first off, honestly, I don't need a new coffee machine. We just got one before Thanksgiving, before we had company over. Well... Maybe he's thinking that you you wanted this, or you. I mean, are you the type of girl that you know you're saying, "Oh, I don't need nice things," and I, I don't, you know, presents don't matter to me. And then all of a sudden, he's thinking he's doing something nice for you, and you're you're just gonna drop him like nothing. I mean, give me a break. I mean, there's well, all these know, girls out here that always say, "Oh, I don't need anything," and I'm just fine with, you know, just your love and blah blah blah. But really, they're. But you, Girls want things. I mean, there's a lot of selfish girls out there that they just want things from their guys. That's it. No, I want I want happiness. I want love. I want him the same. I don't I don't want this to become an issue, which it's going to be. Because if it's acceptable to send something so bizarre as a coffee pot, then what's next? I mean, what's going on in our relationship that this is all of a sudden Valentine's gift? Well, Valentine's or not, I mean. I didn't ask for anything. It's not like this was, it's just, I find peculiar and, and out of the ordinary and kind of has maybe an underlying. Oh message. my goodness, girls. Thank you very much for the calls. The Tom Likas Show.